Mm. I got a brand new electric melting furnace in the mail. That's how I poured these two pieces of silver here. This video is going to be the unboxing and testing of the new two auto electric melting furnace. Like these new poured silver ingots. Oh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. it's ocean here and we are going to unbox this new electric melting furnace from two auto it is this new uh brand new model looks like it might be called trf 3000 v1 i recognize it by the one having this sort of uh would that be octagonal base it has a, a totally different base and this model heats up a little bit hotter than the old model so i'm really excited to open it up so let's go ahead and see what we find. Okay, we've cracked the box open. Let's see what we have. This looks like the mold. There's kind of a standard mold that normally comes with two auto furnaces. And this is a new mold. I don't have this one. So it looks like they actually created a new mold as well for this furnace. And that's pretty cool. That kind of arrowhead piece, and these pieces are fun. Okay, so that's that's a bonus. I didn't know that came with it. The red gloves. I I have a, a pair of these already from my with my old furnace. Uh, looks like the similar gloves. So these are they're, they're decent gloves. This looks like it's going to be a crucible, and this is a three kilo crucible. I could tell by the size, and pretty standard. Um, Nice big one, it's in good shape. The packaging is very well done on this. And uh, then now we'll take out the furnace. What is this? Oh, these are the crucible tongs. And these are, I do, I really like the crucible tongs that come with it uh, because they kind of lock in place. Um, so I have, I have another pair that's exactly like this. These are good ones. Let's see what everything else looks like. There's our power cord. What I noticed right away about the furnace is it has the hexagonal base. It looks like there's a different display on the piece. Uh, the heat shield says two auto on it. And let's look inside this uh, chamber and It looks like it's, I wasn't anticipating this, but it looks like it's totally enclosed. My other electric melting furnaces have a, uh, part of the heating element is visible from inside. So I wonder if this one is a little bit more resistant to uh, crucible breakage and the, fl the free flow of molten metal within the furnace itself. All right, I found it here on page 16. The furnace can reach up to 1,150 degrees Celsius, which is cool because that's a little bit hotter than my other two electric melting furnaces can get. All right, we have the furnace hooked up in the work area, so we're gonna turn it on and see how long it takes to warm up. We'll start a timer to see how long this takes. We are at just over 11 minutes and this furnace is just look how fast the temperature is going up it's at 1050 degrees only a hundred more to go and we're only 11 minutes in this thing is heating up very fast I've never seen this before so we're just about there and I think I'm gonna use this arrowhead what I'm describing is sort of an arrowhead type of mold for the first ever pour with this new furnace. We're gonna use this mold today. So there we are. It took just about 12 and a half minutes, uh, maybe 13 minutes. I think I started the, the timer a little bit late. Just about 13 minutes to get up to full temperature. 
Now my camera went out when I was pouring this piece, but if you guys like videos of pouring, let me know. I'll need to do some more. I ended up pouring two pieces using the new mold I got from 2Auto. And these are both going to be one of ones. I have the arrowhead, and then I did this other one that's kind of like a drop, like a drop of water. And they both came out good. They need to be cleaned up. And here are the final products. Uh, here's the drop. Think it came out good there's the back a little bit of over stamping on the nine i put a little bit of toning on them you can see the stamp that i used um on this side it's kind of shaped like a furnace it's kind of that hox uh hexagonal shape like the furnace and it also just looks like a furnace, so I thought it was a good stamp to use on these two one of ones. And look how chunky they are. Great little pieces. So I'm very satisfied with the the new furnace. It's my new best furnace, so it's going to be my go-to uh, as I continue to pour silver. And if you're thinking about getting an electric melting furnace, definitely let me know. So there's always a little bit of a uh, different character to every pour, and that's kind of part of the fun. If you like these new poured silver ingots, oh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Okay, well, I guess now the cat's out of the bag. I'll show you what else I've been working on. Oh, there's so much stuff here to pull out. Here's uh, some more of the real money rounds. But you can see the five ounce bars there. And check these out. These are two ounce bars. So after I made those test pours with the furnace, I went ahead and poured all of these. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. As you can see, there's even a couple pieces here that are... Uh, different and unique of course they're all quite unique and uh, there's a couple more i almost have them all out <laughs> i was not anticipating bringing bringing these out and i even did one of these a silver waves bar and uh that's a 10 ouncer all of this i just poured all of this with the new two auto furnace I'm very happy with its performance, and uh, as you can see, there's lots of different things you can do when you melt silver. Next time, I would like to try melting some copper. If you're interested in copper pouring, let me know. I'd like to try that um, since this furnace gets a little bit hotter. That would be... Uh, a good project to, to try a metal that also requires more heat. <laughs> and I'm just looking at all the pores. All right, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Stack wide as the ocean.